Hello, hello, my dear, lovely, beautiful Libras. This is your horoscope for February 24. Now, February will be a rather positive month. And I see that um, your February forecast is all about uh, love. It's all about kids and or it's all about actually your business. If you are a business owner, then this is your month, my dear Libras. And don't forget to check your rising sign and moon sign too, because those signs are uh, equally important. Every person has in total three signs, sun sign, moon sign and rising sign. And you know, we are all born in a different time, different place. That's why um, someone's rising sign is stronger. It might play out stronger in your um, life period right now, let's say, current period, or your moon sign, especially if you're born at night. Those people are uh, mostly affected by moon, let's say, and uh, all sorts of uh, occasions in life are brought by moon or your rising sign. If you're born um, you know, in the morning, near morning. <laughs> so uh, if you don't know your rising sign or moon sign, then just go Google it and type uh, natal chart. And there are a lot, a lot of um, free natal chart um, websites where you can check your uh, rising sign and moon sign. You just have to, uh, you just need to know your birth time. Time is very, very important. So it's essential to know exactly uh, what is your rising sign. And uh, your place of birth and there you go you will know it and check those signs for forecasts too because they will give you the fuller fullest picture of the month ahead okay let's begin uh february begins with mercury uh planet of communication this is our um little postman you know of the <laughs> universe who deli who delivers news who delivers letters emails it's a planet of communication it's a planet of signing contracts and mercury on 5th of february will enter your fifth house and fifth house is all about kids mm, if you have kids or um you know if, even if you don't have then all the talks all your thoughts all your you know mercury's what we think Mercury is how we think and um, your thoughts uh, will be let's say around kids or five, uh, fifth house is also about love this is a love house your true love house um, maybe you will be in communication with someone who you start dating recently or who you will start dating <laughs> love may come you know like as a communication it might be over social media uh, because it's entering in the sign of Aquarius and that sign is all about internet mm. It might be also that case. Um, and the fifth house is also house of business. If you are, are an entrepreneur or you have, you know, your small business, um, Mercury will bring lots of maybe communications with clients. Your clients might be, how to say, asking a lot of your services. In the, you will be in demand, let's say. You will have a lot of emails coming in, calls, and um, a lot of talk and communication. And um, maybe you might sign, a, you know, a contract about your business or maybe it's about your kids' education some contracts might bring here too and in general you will be thinking about you know love for yourself if house is a love for ourselves so um and to life actually uh you might be thinking in your thoughts that you you might be you know um feeling appreciative of what you have of the life you have and um in general you will be in love with life my dear libras and here uh when mercury uh, comes into your fifth house it uh, it will be a little bit in a shock because it will find their Pluto uh, for the first time in the last 250 years, roughly speaking. <laughs> That's not a joke. Um, and Pluto takes exactly this much time to um, go around the sun and come back to the point where it was. And uh, Pluto uh, positioned here itself for the next 20 years of our life. So uh, Mercury meeting up Pluto in your fifth house, you know, it will change uh, Pluto's a keyword is transformation. It will transform your fifth house. And uh, I will let you know in what ways. Uh, Pluto is the planet of transformation, is the planet of change, and it's the planet of um, influence, it's the planet of power. Another keyword is powerful. This is like the most powerful planet in our <laughs> universe. And, um, but it takes that much, you know, long time to actually visibly notice and see what changes it brought to, into your life. And um, displacement um, might indicate uh, in meeting up Mercury, you know, it might bring actually flow from Pluto to your life some news that are coming <laughs> for the next 20 years. You know, try to notice, try to feel the energy shift 
you might be already feeling, you know, try to notice what kind of topics are coming up around this date, 5th of February, when their conjunction appears. And this conjunction must suggest also uh, some business plans. You know, if you don't have business or even if you have maybe some another business, talks about business or talks, or you will be already in communication. Let's say if you've been planning some um, opening business, then you already will be in communication. You might be in, with investors or uh, with the banks to take the loan because Pluto uh, is the indicator of banks as well. You know, all the governmental structures that has power and big money and, um, you know, that has this essence of uh, pressure, let's say. They like to give pressures as well, the <laughs> same as Pluto. Um, and those business most probably, you know, uh, are about, I don't know, opening a bars or clubs or you might be thinking about um, establishing an alcohol brand or cigarettes brand that, that is also suggested by the stars here. Or um, some maybe homemade wine. <laughs> it depends, you know, which region you're from in the world. Um, anyhow, this kind of, these types of business you might be thinking. Or, you know, those um, casinos as well are here. Um, also, your business most probably will be online first, like over social media. Um like even maybe utilizing new technologies like AI and some even more new technologies in the next uh, 20 years. Mm, and that mis and that business might actually shoot sky high. So I would really go for it. I, my advice would be just go for it. Also, you might be thinking act like here, you might be thinking of working to yourself, you know, in the future. And even now, now you will have this maybe urge and you will have this feeling that you want to work for yourself. You don't want anymore to work for anyone, to any company. And um, this might be your feelings, you know, to become a business owner. And you will do so in the next 20 years. <laughs> I have a feeling. Um, if it's not about business, then Fifth House is also suggest about kids, having kids. Or maybe you choose for yourself, you know, a profession related to kids, like nannies or teachers, uh, primary, middle schools, even universities. So it might be, might be that you are embarking on a journey, which is like uh, studying to be a teacher or um, to work with kids. You know, some, some professions like that. Or um, in general, uh, Pluto in your fifth house, suggesting that it will actually teach you how to uh, love yourself in your life. Because fifth house is the house of joy, is the house of love to yourself and life in general. Fifth house is also a house of true love. You might be meeting someone special and, you know, being in communication, I mean. And those uh, actually who are in relationship, um they might be coming to some decision already at some point here, like um, taking the relationship to the next level, like getting married or getting engaged or even having kids. And in general, about the kids, Pluto will make you, will give you deep, deep, let's say, thoughts uh, about them being a parent, actually. Um, and here, I would like to mention that whole month of February, actually, and uh, two planets will be working for your good. They will be supporting you a whole month. Um, Jupiter, the planet of luck, happiness, and our big angel of the universe, the planet that helps us, you know, to achieve things. And it's actually giving gifts. You don't even need to, you know, put any, <laughs> let's say, work there because this planet gives gifts. And um, Jupiter is in your eighth house and Saturn, planet of discipline, planet of actually hard work, planet of uh, taking responsibilities. Uh, in your sixth house. And these two planets will be making with each other amazing uh, contacts. And these um, aspects suggest that your health will be strong and no flus, uh, no colds are waiting for you. So um, this month, you should be feeling yourself much uh, energized. And uh, But here, you will have to, of course, um, you know, um, have a discipline in eating habits and in sport and in general, um, uh, about your everyday life, then um, everything will be amazing in terms of health. Um, next, 9th of February, there is new moon in your same fifth house. Uh, and this new moon will be met by harsh angle Uranus, um, planet of surprises, planet of electricity, planet of innovations, you know, all innovations. And Uranus will be in your eighth house. And uh, new moon is um, all about new beginnings, new stories in our lives. And appearing in your fifth house by this aspect from Uranus uh, might indicate that some situations um, concerning kids might come up, like 
let's say their funding, their scholarships, like study scholarships or any other scholarships of their, uh, or let's say alimony amount, if you're in the process of divorce or like support from father or mother or their inheritance situation. This might be also some topics around this new moon, 9th of February. And this new moon um, actually will appear in, in a compatible sign to yours which is giving you advantage, which will be uh, more, let's say, beneficial. And you might actually, at this new moon, if, let's say, you don't have kids and you have totally different situation in life, then it might be your business. And at this new moon, you actually might start a business. New moons are all about beginnings. You might open the doors of your uh, store uh, or of your, let's say, online page, online business. But here, I would like to add that um, there might be some concerns about the funding for your business, like uh, help from the government for small or middle-sized business. You know, if you've been applying to those kind of things, um, there might be some delays or there might be some paperwork, you know, um, requested from your side. And, um, uh, or it might, your creative pursuits, like become an, uh, becoming an actor or writer or some sort of artist. If you are in this area of business, then this is your new moon go ahead and shine my dear Libras um, your exhibition maybe you will have an exhibition somewhere you know of your artworks uh, related to art or pictures photos and um, also if you you know if you've been dreaming long to become an actor or actress or writer this will be the moment around this new moon you might start um, your journey you know and uh, when it comes to kids it might be that you will have to also invest into your kids uh, but it will be quite sudden. Um, you might, because of, you know, this harsh angle by Uranus, planet of surprises. These are all just suggestions and, you know, um, that the stars are pointing to. So this area of life, your life might be under your attention around this new moon. 13th of February, right before the Valentine's, Mars, planet of action. This is our motivation. This is our engine, you know, which sits inside us. Um he pushes us to do, you know, to go, to be active things. And Mars will enter your same fifth house. And here is more uh, bringing energy, fueling it, you know, more concrete energy and um, concentrated. Um, so your fifth house is actually quite packed this month, my dear and beautiful Libras. And the next day, Mars, uh, on Valentine's Day, 14th of February, is meeting with Pluto. Mm. And Pluto is the planet of, uh, as I said, transformation uh, and here Mars being a planet of action he might really show you uh, like a preview you know of what's to come in the next 20 years it might give you some sort of a little hint from Pluto <laughs> together with Pluto what it might mm, be bringing into your life in the next 20 years and Mars in your fifth house it will be you know will make your life more packed with energy, with actions, with errands to run, concerning again your business or your kids or someone you've met recently that you're someone like dating when it comes to love. Or it might be also hobbies. Fifth house is all about our hobbies. Uh, you might again start going dancing or singing if you've stopped or you might even, um, let's say, make it your main profession now. Mm. Uh, fifth house is all about our hobbies. You might add one <laughs> or you might get interested into something new that you will like. But Pluto here, remember that Pluto is in your fifth house. It brings more uh, a serious energy. And uh, if you will get interested into some new hobbies, most probably you will be doing that for the next 20 years. You might like it so much that, you know, Pluto will make you um, to achieve um, highest of highs, <laughs> let's say, because Pluto is that planet uh, of also it demands from us. It pushes us to go deeper, go more and go, let's say, um, with our full potential. Even if we don't want it, <laughs> Pluto first loves to, uh, you know, bring all the pressure in your life. So you deal with it and then you become a master in that area, whatever it will be touching in your fifth house, actually, those topics that, that, that I mentioned. But on 14 February, February, Valentine's Day, you know, this is this is a love day. And especially for you, my Libras, this is very important uh, day as um, ruled by Venus, planet of love. Um, on 14 February, your ruler, Venus, planet of love and beauty, will be supporting you together with Neptune. 
And Neptune is the planet of magic, is the planet of inspiration, is the planet of our imagination. Whatever we imagine is under Neptune. And Neptune will be in your sixth house and your ruler Venus will be in your fourth house at that time. And they will be making beautiful contact with each other. So this 14th of February, because of Pluto and Mars meeting, <laughs> won't be so much, let's say, um, romantic day for the most, but for some who will be celebrating on this date, their love, their coupleship, um, these two planets will help the most. Um, but in general, um, as I see that most of the couples will be celebrating um, their love maybe uh, a week ahead or two weeks after, as also 14th of February falls uh, in the middle of the week. And most of uh, uh, you guys might be uh, celebrating it um, on a different, um, you know, days, actually, even weeks. Uh, so these two planets, Neptune and Venus, because of them, you, because of their connection, they bring you this feeling, you know, they will bring you this feeling like at home, wherever you will be celebrating Valentine's or even not celebrating, you will be feeling so much, um, you know, um, in comfort, your everyday routine at home will be giving you some sort of comfort and you will be liking it a lot or if you single your colleagues might give you this feeling actually th um, that you are one family and you will be loving what you feel uh, around that time on 16th of february venus your ruler planet of love planet of beauty and money will follow her lover into your fifth house of true love now this is amazing opposition but venus, you know venus and mars these this is our couple of the universe they are lovers and uh, their meeting happens only once per year and this is a very special occasion in astrology and um, they are whole year on the different tasks of the universe around the uh, different you know around the horoscope on different signs but they meet up only once uh, per year and this year it will happen uh, in february and venus following uh, mars into your fifth house house of true love is especially amazing news isn't it and uh, Venus on 17th February, the next day, right after it enters, will enter your fifth house, will meet up with Pluto, much heavier planet, not in terms of weight, but in terms of influence and the vibration. And Pluto is serious planet, planet of authority, planet of power. You might actually, my dear Libras, meet someone powerful around this time. Feels like your Valentine's will start <laughs> exactly around this date. That's why I'm saying that most of uh, Libras will be celebrating it probably uh, days and weeks after even uh, also here you might be having some kind of a um, flirt even with someone someone very powerful someone very serious and someone uh, who is like a authoritarian behavior or by profession um, someone domineering but at the same time it, or it might be actually someone influential someone inspirational who who are at their top let's say and uh, who has name already for themselves and big money in their pocket <laughs> also might be here because Pluto is the indicator of big money um if this does not resonate with you you know your situation if you are already in the you know married or um you are in a serious long-term relationship then it might be about your business you know for some Libras it will be about business and Pluto conjunct Venus um now, if you are a business owner, then your business might bring good money around this time. Or you might find someone to invest into your business if you're planning to open. You know, this fifth house is pretty much packed during this February for you, my dear Libras. And most of you, you will be thinking about it. And if you're in a creative area, like if you're an artist or dancer or photographer, uh, whatever, like related to art, you know, you uh, might actually meet someone who can promote your um, works who can give a chance by coming, you know, in coming in communication with you uh, about your works. On 22nd of February, uh, Venus, your ruler, finally meets her lover, Mars, this couple meeting in your fifth house of uh, true love, house of love, you know, and this is amazing news for you, my dear Libras, and this happens only once per year, and this uh, connection should really be about love, and you might really meeting, you might be really meeting someone, you know, if you're single, and, or if you're in a couple, there might be spark again in your couple flirting with your uh, spouse, but their connection, this Mars and Venus conjunction will, uh, moon, you know, will make a harsh angle, uh, will be opposite, exactly the opposite of this couple on the sky in your 11th house. And also Jupiter will also make another um, hard angle 
to this couple from your eighth house. Now here, situations might be the following and you know, one or two might come up um, and I would love to hear in the comments what will be happening around this date in your life and please go ahead and tell me all about it. So the situation might be that your friend might get, get jealous if, you know, let's say you're single and you met someone uh, captivating actually and because these are the lovers of the universe you know and this date is very special in astrology so if you met someone special if you're gonna you're gonna meet someone special if you go out my dear libras so um uh, you know on that night it might be that your friend will be kind of jealous of that or if you are already dating someone and you would like to you know you was you were hoping to bring the relationship to the next level like to move in for example move in together start living together sharing the house um those hopes might not be also you know um met actually positively from your partner's side and your partner might have a different uh, wishes let's say or if it's not about this situation then maybe kids if you have in your life kids then let's say you had some plans um, like to spend time with kids, uh, uh, like to go to let's say park or something. Then those those plans will not might not be supported by your husband. Actually, financially supported, maybe their inheritance or taking them to the theme park or any activity actually that you planned that you had in your mind. Um, or it might be that you are planning to travel somewhere. Or uh, if it's not about your kids and you don't have kids, let's say, and husband <laughs> and partner, then it might be about your business. Um, it might be that money or, let's say, funds from that you applied, uh, like from the government or financial institutions like banks, uh, will not be enough somehow or it won't be coming at all, actually. Or if you started some, let's say, creative pursuits like dancing, drawing classes or started some kind of, um, you know, doing professionally uh, your hobbies, it might be somehow put on pause for one or another reason. Next 19th February, sun, a giver of life, our light of the universe, light of our life, will move into your sixth house, house of health and house of uh, work, bringing actually your attention to your work, everyday responsibilities, everyday routine, your eating habits, or actually to your health situation. Also, it might be about your pets. Mm, sun might bring your attention to your pets if you have one. Or if you don't, you might be thinking to get, a, you know, about getting one. <laughs> and February will be finishing closing by full moon on 24th of February in your 12th house. And that full moon will be supported, beautifully supported by Jupiter, planet of giver of gifts, you know, planet of luck, prosperity, expansion, happiness from your eighth house. And full moon, um, full moons are all about, you know, they are bringing light. They are bringing your attention to something. They are bringing some information, some information that you've been waiting for, let's say, or um, they are bringing, they're all about endings, and they're bringing last word, last, let's say, <laughs> sentence to some story in some story. And um, maybe uh, 12th house is actually house, of, you know, private house. It's intimate house. And Jupiter is also in your eighth house. This is the house of intimacy. You might have a, you know, um, be careful here because full moons are like projectors. They put the light there and you might have a secret that will come to light. <laughs> and 12th house is also about, um, you know, in our uh, subconscious mind. So if you've been, you know, um, using the services of uh, therapists, like psychological therapies or any other, like uh, working with your subconscious mind and uh, intuition or esoterics, that might somehow uh, also end and finish. You might stop taking uh, these services. Uh, and But that will be for good reasons. It might be that those therapies gave great results and you are very satisfied. Um, like, you know, you've worked out your, let's say, childhood tra wounds or traumas and um, now you might be feeling more better and more in control, let's say. Um, or if it's not about that, then it might be about work. Some sort of work might come to an end, uh, but that end is a happy end, like in regards to your, um, let's say, inheritance or scholarship. If you've been like, you know, doing lots of errands and um, paperwork or some sort of applications, then that might give bring positive results and you might get the news that you've got that inheritance or scholarship now you're the owner of real estate or something like that or and that real estate might be somewhere very far and somewhere very secluded might be even on an island or your studies might be also 
somewhere very far uh, than where you live. Or you might, uh, if it's not about this, then you might become a grandparent. If you are at that age, then this full moon, around this full moon, will bring you this news. <laughs> um, tell me all about this too, my dear Libras, if this happens to your grandmother or grandfather becoming grandparents. Uh, second time, third time, I would love to hear that as well. Uh, or if it's not about that, then your investments actually might bring amazing returns. If you have, you know, if you've invested into cryptos, coins or shares, these kind of things, then those things might bring up good re results. If uh, it's not about this, not investments, you don't have investment, then it uh, you know, 12th house is also house of uh, past and house of release. So if you have some, you know, addictions, this is a very good time to release those addictions. Like what I mean is like to drop it, like alcohol or drug addictions or any unhealthy habits. It's very good time to quit those things too. Um, and it starts appointing to that, that you will be coming, you know, the realization of that, you will be deciding to do so. And lastly, another, the last topic might also be, you know, about um, your work situation. Uh, the topic that might be lit by this full moon, you, that is that you might um, start working online, start working from home, that you quit your uh, job, let's say, uh, five to eight, and now you are uh, full-time uh, remote and work from home or somehow online or vice versa. You've been, if you've been uh, working online and from home, now you will uh, stop doing so. And maybe you will decide to go actually um, to work every day. These topics might come up uh, around this full moon. Please let me know what will be happening. I uh, would appreciate it a lot. This was your horoscope for February, my dear Libras, my beautiful Libras. And I wish you best February. Bye-bye.